And with that uh, igneous rock phosphate that we have, it can create large amounts of really high-grade purified phosphoric acid, which is the precursor that goes into LFD battery along with lithium, iron powder, or iron sulfate. So we, we, we have the solution there on, on the phosphate side. Talking lithium here with first phosphate and John, my first question is the Ford Nemaska lithium deal. Do you see that as a catalyst for early exploration in North America? Yeah, no, I, I think it was a very well well done uh, program. I think it showed a lot of lot of insight uh, and foresight in terms of you know getting uh, critical uh, minerals uh, supply chain started in, in in North America. We know that it, it all starts with the lithium, but that also opens up the the, the lanes for other um, uh, critical minerals such as phosphate that that uh, you know first phosphate is, is focused on. So we're very very positive about that uh, about that that that. that deal and we think it was the, the right thing and we compliment both parties for for having had the foresight to move forward with it we look for a lot more uh, from from the industry because of that and you just mentioned supply chain so I mean uh, we have uh, the early exploration we have the mining part we also have the midstream so kind of the processing um, a lot of that capacity right now is in China so uh, is midstream going to catch up in North America or will some of these products uh, once uh, mining stage is reached have to be shipped uh, to Asia for processing. No, absolutely. I, I think that you know, uh, you know, the raw materials is where it all starts with. Raw materials is, is you know the upstream, and the reason that they are doing this, um, creating these supply chains in North America, starting with the, with the raw materials. That's a smart place to go, and I think they learned that the hard way. Uh, before we we're always starting with the gigafactories and trying to work backwards, but starting from the raw materials and working forward is the only way to do it. So uh, compl compliments to the parties uh, for for having struck that deal on the lithium side. And also, you know, I think it is the beginning. It is the really the beginning of, of a midstream developing in North America. I think the midstream is difficult, but I really do believe that it all starts with raw materials. Raw materials is almost the hardest. Once you know that you have the raw materials, then, you know, we, we, have, we, have, we have the ability in the Western world. I mean, the Western world invented all the processes around um, purification of everything uh, over the last 70 years. There's no reason that we can't take back our industry, and uh, we will do it, and we'll do it much, much, uh, much more strongly, but it does start with the raw materials. Yeah, so kudos and uh, here we go. I think it's just the beginning, not the end. And I don't think there'll be any problems in, in, in bringing these midstream processes back to North America. But, you know, we do need commitment from industry. We do need commitment from government. Um, and we can't expect it to happen on its own. But we have the people and we have the, we have the knowledge and we have the technology to do it. Absolutely. Uh, and you just mentioned that it all starts uh, with the material. Could you explain a bit for the, our listeners um, what really is the challenge in terms of specification? As it's not like with the copper, with these very bulk commodities, but an LFP, especially uh, the, the battery grade phosphate needed for that is uh, very specific. So could you outline that a bit for the audience? Yeah, it's like all, all battery materials, right? They need to have a very high a degree of purity. Um, it's usually the highest purity that you'll find out there for for any application is going to be in the battery space, obviously, because you know we're we're dealing with electricity uh, at the end of the day, and it's very sensitive. Um, so you know, with phosphate, uh, we need the highest purity phosphate uh, rock, which is what we have in Saguenay, Lac Saint Jean, Quebec, across first phosphate claims. We have the highest. We have one percent of the world's purest uh, phosphate rock. Uh, we have access to it uh, across many of our properties. Some of them are, are are very far advanced into into PEA now. And with that uh, igneous rock phosphate that we have, it can create large amounts of really high grade purified phosphoric acid for the battery, which is the precursor that goes into LFP battery along with lithium and uh, you know um, uh, iron iron powder or iron sulfate. So yes, uh, you know. We, we, we have the solution there on, on the phosphate side. Real quick follow-up question on the midstream topic we were just uh, we were just discussing. Uh, do you think that pushing towards midstreams uh, coming back to uh, the Western world will mainly stem from governments taking initiative or will the, the private market and the public market uh, take over? Well, look, I think there's been a lot of good talk out of government and people want to see the government walk the walk, but I also think that industry should not just be reliant on, on, on government. Uh, we, we have to be able to, to work together. Um, but where I think it starts, I think it starts with uh, industry having Having, you know proper plans and I think it starts with government supporting at least you know in terms of the moral support um, in the support in terms of you know helping the the, the mines to get to market quicker uh, some of the permitting processes uh, some of the bureaucracy some of the tax advantages uh, laying out these clusters or ecosystems I think that's where government's working really hard uh, we applaud the Quebec government Quebec government's doing an excellent job in, in that respect Canadian government as well um, so we're very happy in what we see it just needs to continue um, and it and you know industry needs to be able to meet the government halfway uh, 
I don't think government needs to plow, you know, billions of dollars uh, in, in, into this industry. Yes, some subsidies are important, but more importantly than anything else, I think it's just, you know, the right smarts around it, uh, the right support and the, 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 the right creation of industry clusters and offering the advantages uh, to companies to actually do this. And then I think companies are more than w- welcome to do it. And I think the investor community, once they see that governments are serious and they're supporting um, and we see, you know, we're very confident that that is what's happening, but we need government to show us stability, right, so that we can show stability and we can grow.